Whoever said engineering doesn't have a backbone never spent much time on BYU campus. I got to meet some of the engineers working on a very special project that should save a lot of people a trip to the chiropractor. BYU is a place known for innovation. Half a century ago, BYU professor Harvey Fletcher helped develop one of the first hearing aids. Now, in the building that bears his name, BYU professors are making another breakthrough in innovation helping the human body. But this breakthrough didn't start that way. It started with Dr. Larry Howe and his graduate student assistant, Peter Halverson, working on, of all things, handheld electronics. We had wrapped up the research in electronic devices and there was a sort of lull. Uh, they were looking for, for new things to do. Over a period of time, they figured out that the same principles for those electronics would work in one of the most unlikely of places, the spine. They realized they could create a replacement for damaged spinal discs. There was just one problem. We were mechanical engineers, but we had no background in the spinal biomechanics. And that's where Dr. Anton Bowden comes in. His years of work in spinal research became the key to their success. As I kind of was introduced to some projects that were looking specifically at spinal devices, I started to see that there's a real need here. Unfortunately, uh, Dr. Bowden uh, arrived at BYU and with his uh, expertise in that area, they were able to make uh, really an outstanding uh, device. And with their partnership, they set off to create something special. Unlike what some may think, the secret to their work was just that work. When you first start out on any project, the, the goal is to generate as many ideas as possible. Uh, and really it's, it's looking back you can say, oh yeah, you know, that was a time where uh, when we really had a device that would work. They went through prototype after prototype. After six years of work, this is the final product. Made of titanium, they designed it to never wear down and to hold the weight of the human spine. And the device moves just like a regular spinal disc can move. It can bend forward, it can bend backward, it can move from side to side, it could even twist a few degrees as well. And it's a, a pretty complex motion all in, in a very compact space. But to get this disc from the lab into someone's spine, they needed some help. Crocker Spinal Technologies took over. An investor built the company around this new device. And all three men involved just hope their creation will make a real difference. 15% of us or so that will have this ongoing chronic low back pain where it just comes back again and again. And that group of patients is really the ones that a device like this is intended to help. After some testing, the engineers at Crocker Spinal say they hope to make the device available to those people by the middle of next year. And these inventors feel proud to know that they have carried on in BYU's tradition of innovation.